All right, I'm making a prediction. I think Kamara Usman is going to retire if he beats Kobe Covington, and I'll tell you why. But first, this is my first video, and I've been watching Jesse on fire. I've been wanting to do like, just be, just give my opinion of things happening in the MMA community for a while. But I'm like, hmm, I always overthink my format, right? Well, I, I saw Jess, I watch Jesse all the time. I watch every single one of his videos. He's awesome. He's funny. Um, he's like super informative and gives a lot of insight onto things going on in the business. I like the business stuff, but I also like the fight stuff. So anyway, if you like this kind of thing, ring the bell and subscribe. And thanks for inspiring me to do this, Jesse on Fire. Anyway, this is why I think Kamara Usman retires after Colby Covington, if Colby Covington beats him. Uh, basically, I think he's at a stage in his life where he realizes, I'm at the top. I've been at the top for a while. I'm pound for pound king. And... Hamzat's on the way up, and he's a killer. So I think Usman knows that he... I think he knows that that's a fight that, dare I say, he can't win or worries him enough to c consider retirement. And uh, I haven't seen anything publicly about this, but I do think that it is entering his mind. And after I saw the pre-fight, the press conference, um, kind of solidified some of those ideas because, oh man, so, uh, the reporter asks him something like, what are your thoughts of Hamzat uh, on his way up? Uh, does any of this concern you? And he's like, hmm. I think he actually took a deep breath and he was like, hmm. He, he was like, how do I want to answer this? Uh, he didn't put him down. He praised him, but he didn't really consider uh, the reality of them fighting, it seemed like, in his response. So I think that Humaro is going to retire if he beats Colby. I th and it might be Saturday. If Colby beats him, I think he'll come back for a trilogy because, you know, he realized, like I said, he, he realizes. He's at the top. And if he retires right now, he retires at the top. He he was the pound for pound champ. Said, I want to start paying more attention to uh to my family. I've been away from my family. You know, he started building in these um things based off of something he knows about in his mind. I don't want to call them excuses, but reasons that he's going to retire. And you know, he obviously doesn't want people saying, oh, you're retiring because of Hamzat. But you know what? I bet you anything, there's a good part of that. I bet Hamzat was the the straw that broke the camel's back. He saw Hamzat and was like, ugh. Uh, all right. I'm, I gotta beat Colby. <laughs> gotta beat Colby. And if I don't beat Colby, shit. Well, that might be even better. So maybe maybe I let Colby win this one and I get one more big cash grab before I retire. Maybe. I love the MMA community. I love all the fighters. And um, no disrespect. But I think that that would probably be in Kamaru Usman's best interest. Beat Colby. Make sure you beat him this weekend and retire. So Hamzat don't eat you.